Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to go over a uh, commonly requested feature, which is a rainbow shader. Now I'm calling it a rainbow shader, but it's actually a material. The reason we're calling it a rainbow shader is just to sort of uh, provide better search terms. Um, some people asked uh, this when the initial wave came in a few months ago. They're like, you know, how do I make my ears or my, uh, my tail? How do I make that like rainbow colored? Uh, so here's how you do it. So we're going to get ahead and then get started. So I'm going to hop to smooth POV. In Smooth POV, the first thing we need to do is create a new material. So um, if your character is tune-lit, then feel free to create one that is flat-lit tune. That's what we'll be doing today. If it's a full PBS character, feel free to create PBS. It just depends on what sort of lighting or textures that you've got. We're just going to assume that you just want rainbow, no other effects. And so we're going to go for flat-lit tune here. Pull this to one side, so you've got the material orb and the inspector panel. And then we're going to switch immediately to the logics tooltip, because we need your logics for this. For logics, we need to go to the top here. It says flatlet tune material. Grab that with your uh, logics tooltip here. Turn to some empty space and spawn it in the world. And then this is the uh, inspector card, or sorry, the uh, logics interface card for the flatlet tune material here. And you'll see that there is a color property. And if I pull this out, you'll see right now it's 1111111, which means white. And if I change the color to red, you'll now see that it's red and you've got some red uh, values there. You just do that and then it's one zero zero one so we can actually write to this variable by using uh logics nodes so if we go to here we go to input and we go to color rgba we can then put this into here and we can go one copy one by grabbing it and dropping it in and now we're back to white again but that's not very fun so let's make a rainbow shader so to do that, we're going to go to where we are now right now in the input folder. So logics input T, spawn a T in, and then put that into a in here. Oh, it's in color. There it is. U. And then you've got uh, an output here. So we'll do that again. So you go to color in the top level folder. So color and then hue. Put T directly into it and you'll get a hue out, which is a randomly changing color. Put that into the uh, color property. Sometimes this will happen. You'll see the effect hasn't happened, and that's simply because we had more than one drive going in there. So just delete the, the first drive, put another one in, and there you go. Now that might be too fast for you. So what happens if you want to make it slower? Go back to the root of your logics menu, go to input, and go to T divide by 2, and hook that up. And you'll see now that that's slightly slower. You can also do T divide by 10, which is a lot slower. That's more like mood lighting that you might see in a sort of, I don't know, a bar or something where it just, you know, goes between the, the colors. I have a lamp that does that. Uh, if you wanted to go faster as well, you can do T times 10. And now you'll see it kind of flashes like a strobe. We'll cancel that out because that's uh, kind of uh, not good to look at. You can also do a custom T value, and the way you do that is you do operators, divide, and you take the original T value and you divide it by uh, the value you want. So if I take T and I divide it by 2, it'll match the value of T divided by 2 here. So I can put these together and you'll see that they, uh, they're matching. But if I wanted to change this to T, times, uh, T divided by 4, I could totally do that as well. And then you'll see that this is a, a lot slower again. So if we do t divided by 5, that's about where we want it. So let's get rid of these extra nodes. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. And we're done. We now have a rainbow material. So if I were to take, I don't know, let's, uh, let's grab something. Let's grab... Um, So here we've got a Lexi V4 model by Alexidol. Uh, ignore the uh, hips, they uh, do that until you equip the avatar. If we inspect this and we go to the root, we can go into the body, uh, and then into this folder here, and then on the material, no, not the body, it'll be on the ears. There we go, that's the material I was looking for. So this is the ear fluff. 
um, that the ears have up there. If I were to grab this material orb and drop that into the ear fluff like that, you'll now see here that we have rainbow ears. I'll put you on the floor where you stop freaking out. Yep, there we go. So now they've got rainbow colored ears going through. You could also do that with hair or any other uh, material that's on these. Uh, this avatar has a lot of materials. You can also take this and put it into a material gun, just like any other material, which is why I've got one on here. So here's a cube, which is now a rainbow cube. Rainbow floor. And uh, what else do you want to? What else do you want to rainbow? There's uh, plenty of stuff you can you can do. That's all there is to it, but there is a, uh, a caveat here, which is you can see that the logics here is on this material, which means that it needs this material to refer to this material, um, or it will have trouble. Um, it'll have trouble uh, finding the material. What I mean by that is if you delete this material, it, the logics here can't work no matter where you pack it. So what you need to do is you need to put the material on the object. I do this in another video, which I'll link below, but we're also going to do it here. If you're familiar with this process, feel free to turn off now. I'll see you later. But if you're not, then uh, inspect the object, do it for this cube. And on the cube here, we'll create a child object, and we're going to call this material. And then on this material object here, we're going to attach a component, assets, materials, and we'll do flatlet tune again. And now there's a material which is on this object, it's on the cube. And so we can pull this inspector card pull a drive node into the color here, and then we can pack that logics into this material slot here. And now what happens when I delete this material? Actually, you know, we need to set that material up first. So we go here, inspect again, we go to the material, grab the material if you're an inspector, uh, with your tip, and then put it into the mesh renderer. And there you go, you'll see it says flatlet tune on material. If I do here and I go to here and I say rainbow material, you can now see that this says flatlet tune on rainbow material. So we know it's this one here. What that means now is if I delete this, you'll see that the um, Oh, it's because they're kept in the world, yes. You'll see that the ears are going to keep going. And the cube is also going to keep going. But if I were to now uh, save this cube to my inventory, so I'll turn on private UI. There you go, it's just at the bottom of the uh, inventory there. And I were to close this world, we'd be back at my home world, and I can go over here and spawn this cube. And you'll see that it instantly starts happening again. If you hadn't done that part where you put the material on the cube, it wouldn't do that. So there you go, that's how to make material uh, rainbow objects. I'll put this in my tutorial folder so you can take a look at it. It's a very simple object. I hope you have fun making animated materials. That's all there is really to it. I will see you next time.